Hi guys. Today I'm going to do the... I'm going to make some jewelry. And we are going to... Um... Make some earrings first. So I only have six of the tiny uh, cabs with uh, skins on the back. In a previous video, I explained how I did the skins. I'm sure you've seen it in other videos. Also, um, But these are the ones that I actually put on photo paper. Uh, and then I just cut them out or I'll put like, you know, the cabochon on it, glue it, and I'll let it stay there for a couple days before cutting it out. Um, you just kind of find what spot you want. And that's actually a really pretty one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so you would just glue the, uh, actually, I'll do one here with you. So, if you are, um, you can do it. A couple different ways. I have a 25 millimeter hole punch. This thing I could take and put it in here and hole punch it or and then glue it on or I can just take the cab right on the skin and glue it on with some diamond glaze. I have seen people use E6000. Um, I've never glued them on with E6000 though. I've always used the diamond glaze and then used the E6000 to put them in the actual tray. But I don't know. I mean, you can do it, I guess, whichever way you want. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut one of these out. Because I liked that one. Um, so this is a 25 millimeter cabochon. So it will fit. Very nicely. So I'll just take, I haven't used my diamond glaze in a couple days, so I might need to poke it. We'll see. So I'll just take this, just put a small dot. See how small that is? I don't know how close I can get. And then I'll drop the cab on there. And I'll kind of move it around a little bit just to get all the air bubbles to escape. Another reason I like the diamond glaze because you can kind of, it stays slippery. So you can move it around a little bit and make sure you got all your air bubbles out. So I just squeeze that and then I'll set this aside and I'll let that dry for two days before I use it. So I will just set this one aside up there. Okay. 
So when you glue them straight onto the skin um, and they've already dried, then you can just go ahead and use your scissors and cut around them. So I usually separate them because this is going to be like a bracelet, an earring set or, I don't know, separate. And then I'll just cut around and I try to do it in like one motion with the scissors because you tend to get an even, a more even cut. These ones are so tiny that they're really hard to do that. See, that one came out really good. Except for that one piece right there. And then this is the bigger one. And sometimes if you don't let them dry for a couple days, um, I mean, you can do what you want, but in my experience if you don't let them dry for a couple days then when you're cutting them sometimes they can like just peel off so maybe if you used a stronger glue than the diamond glaze maybe they wouldn't I don't know um, all right so those are cut out so what I'm going to do is I have these little earrings. Are they cute? And I'm going to, they have a little bezel tray. Let me put my lid on my diamond glaze. So now I'm going to use the E6000. I already struggled to get the cap undone, so you guys didn't have to wait 18 hours for me to get the cap undone. So I'm going to just put a little dot in the tray. Wow, these are little. This is actually the first time I've done earrings. So I'm going to use this little thing, this little, I think they call it an orange stick. And I'm just going to spread, normally I would just use the tip of the glue thing, but because these are so small, I'm just going to spread the glue so that it's a thin layer, but it's coating all of it. Wow, these are small. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do these ones. You just take the cab and you put it in the little tray and you squeeze. And if you get glue on them, it's fine because it will come off. You can either wait to get it off or you can get it off now with some alcohol. And if you get a lot of glue that's spitting out, then you know that you're using too much glue and that you can go a little bit less on that. There's one. Cute, huh? And easy. 
like one day you can sit around and just uh if you're watching tv or something you can just sit around with like your oops your skins and uh just glue cabs all over your skins and then just let them dry and then you'll have and then you know when they're dry you put all the ready to go ones in a bag and then one day you sit and do jewelry so let's make this matching partner one here so I'm going to use a little bit less glue because I did get a lot of glue Okay, and now we will, oh, okay, well, I didn't want that to happen. And then you squeeze that one in. And then clean off your cabochon. I got these little things for the show. They're like little earring cards see and you get yourself a nice little pair of earrings and then the earring cards come with a little bag here with self tape you'll just put them in the bag I'm gonna probably wait until they're dry totally Oops. <laughs> kind of hard to put in the bag. Okay. Oh, Lord. Anyway, once they're dry, you just put them in the bag and sew them up. But I'm going to let them dry first before I'm messing with them too much, you know? So there you go. You got yourself a pair of earrings. So I'm just going to stack that up there and then we'll move on to another one. Let's do Let's do Let's do a bracelet. to go with our earrings. So like if you cut a bunch of the cabs out that are different sizes, you can make earrings and necklaces and all that jazz to match. So this cab matches that one. Drop it in the tray and press it down. Clean it off, and you can clean it off again once you're done. But then, when it dries, you got yourself a bracelet and a pair of earrings to match. Cute. 
All right, so I'll set that one up there. All right, so let's um, I'll do one more set of earrings with you. And then I'll move on to show you what else I got to make. Let me show you a chicane, or a chicane. That's a word. Use that next time you're talking to somebody. They'll say, oh, you must know Lisa Wyatt. She talks like that. I like these little circle ones. So let's do little circles. Circles on circles. So I'm going to... Wow. These things are tiny. Put some glue. So we'll just go ahead and put the glue in both the trays while we have it. Whoops. Did not want to do that. Um, let's do the little holographic ones. Those are pretty. These are the ones I used. I just took some of that holographic vinyl and I glued them on that. I thought they would be pretty jewelry. And they might be. I may keep these. They are looking pretty cool. So then you press, 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 press. All right. Let me give you... I don't know if you saw the bracelet and stuff. I don't know how close I can get. I need to test that out. Um, so, oops. Got these all wobbly jawed. All right, so these are the ones we just made. The little holographic paper. How pretty are those? I think those are pretty fantastic. And then these are the other ones we made, which are pretty cool too, with the cute little bracelet that has that has stars on it. It's very dainty. I'm telling you guys, I would seriously drop my head if it wasn't attached to me. I drop my head. I. Forever tripping over shit and forever bumping into stuff. Okay, so here's the little earrings and the bracelet. Cute, cute, cute. I love them. I love them. All right. Let me see how close I can actually get to show you guys stuff. I can come up to like right about here. Okay. All right. So, moving on. I'll do these other earrings later. Just don't want to bore you with doing all of them. You pretty much do it all the same. All the same way um, so I did this big cabochon on a paint with paint skin and it's been drying for a couple days 
and I'm going to put it on one of the pop sockets. It's got black in it, so maybe I'll do it on a black one. It looks kind of clean on a white one. I think I like it better on the white one. So each one of these comes in its own little package. So when you're done decorating it and painting it or doing whatever it is that you're going to do to it, you can put it back in the bag to be sold. So the information on these, these are just blanks. They're not trademarked pop sockets. These are um, just blank generic phone holders. Okay. So what I do with these, if I'm going to be gluing, if I don't actually dip them in paint or resin and I'm going to be gluing one of these on or one of my dragon eyes on, I usually take this because it's plastic and I'm gonna I'm gonna just score it a little bit I don't know if it's necessary but it makes sense that the glue will get down in there and hold it better right now if you're just gonna dip these in your paint you know let's say you poured something and it's the excess if you're just going to dip it in paint you do not need to do this if you're going to dip in resin absolutely don't do it but i am actually gluing another hard piece so two smooth pieces i think would come off easy i don't know it's just something in my head says to score it and give it some sort of tooth. So that's what I do. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I'm just telling you the way I do it. So I'm going to put the E6000 on it. And you want to be kind of generous with it. If it seeps out, you can wipe it off. But this is going on somebody the back of their phone and they're going to be using it a lot possibly grabbing their phone with it and all that stuff so I usually blow on it a little bit see I have one on my phone case and I am forever just messing with it so you really do want it to be on there really secure because somebody is going to be using it all the time and this is one of my dragon eye ones that I make and I've made some jewelry with the dragon eyes too and those are fun to make if you want to learn how to make them I have a video on my channel. I believe it's called Let's Make Some Dragon Eyes. And then I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to squeeze. So you just want to make sure that it's evenly on. Squeeze it. If you move it just a little bit, it makes it get into them grooves just a bit more. So there you have it. It's totally not dry, but you just set it and leave it alone. And then you have a phone holder. The, like I said, the information for these blanks is down in the description. Uh, Alex Peters sells them. And you can contact him 
think at allartwelcome.com. So there you go. So I'm going to set this aside to dry. So that's that. Uh, now we can make, what else can I show you? Let's make a keychain. This keychain. There's the keychain. I get these off of Amazon. Um, we'll make, we'll make a daisy one. This is a bezel tray and the other side is also decorated. So uh, it's very good for a keychain. I've made a couple necklaces like this too. So... I'm going to put this on before I put the cab on. That way, when it's on, I don't have to mess with it no more. See how cute. All right. So I think this is this size. Nope, that one's too big. Are these different sizes? I thought I had all the sizes. Uh-oh. I thought I had them all separated. You've got to keep them separated. Nah, 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 nah. All right, so I think I only have one that's this size. Yep, it is. So, happens to be one of the holographic ones, which is fine. So, again, we'll put the glue. It is a keychain. It's going to be touched quite often. So then we'll shove the cab in there and squeeze. And squeeze out all the glue and get it all over yourself. I knew I put a little too much glue in that one. So I'm just using some isopropyl alcohol on a paper towel to get the glue off. It works really good. You could probably use Windex too or something. Okay. See how pretty? Whoops. So there's a keychain. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um... You can what else I got? I gotta make some more of these bracelets. I got these bracelets. I think I showed you guys these ones the other day. Um, this one is black. I got glue on my hands. Uh, 
that oh, this cab's got some <laughs> it must have got stuck to the paper towel or something you want to make sure that they are don't have stuff on them because they won't sit right in the tray. Got some fuzz. Well, that'd be pretty. Oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, I like that one better. So, all right. I need a new napkin. I'll leave this one here. So this one. see which way you'd like it best bracelets going this way so I think that an up and down would look really pretty on it so we'll put it in there and squeeze it in So, I'm uploading another video, but it's taken forever. So, there's that bracelet. I'll show you guys close ups. Um, one more thing I'm going to be making is magnets. Now, I don't have any of the 25 millimeter cabs ready to go. I'm going to be gluing them on later, letting them sit. But for... Just, um, just to show you, actually, instead of that, I'm going to, just to show you, um, some of the magnets I'm going to make. These are smashed little bottle caps. Um, and then remember this cab that I just glued not too long ago. I'm not going to do it right now in front of you, but let's pretend it was dry. Okay. Do the glue. This goes right into there. And then you can just take... I have a whoops magnet here self-adhesive again these are 25 millimeters come on come on then I would just put this on the back press down we're pretending this is glued remember and then you've got a cute little simple magnet for your fridge 
You can also just put skins on these. And then magnets. Actually, I think I have some that I made last year. I can show you. Um, and then I'll let you guys go. Hang on here. Okay, so yeah, so you just take the regular cab, again, whatever size you want, these ones are 25 millimeter, and then you just put them, glue them on your skin, let them dry, Jeez. what did I tell you about my head, let them dry, and then just glue the magnet on, and you've got cute little fridge magnets, and then if you have, um, little molds like heart-shaped molds or whatever you know those little molds that you get in the set you can put your resin in there and make little molds and you can also use the same magnet I just cut a V in it just because this was a heart of course and then you have these magnets with the little molds so I have a bunch of them for the show too so this little bottle cap one, see how cute. So everybody loves fridge magnets, right? Yeah. These are really cute. So... So yeah, and then um, I have a dry erase board that sits up like a, kind of like a painting or like a easel or something that these stick to for when I'm displaying them. If you don't, or you have more than you, you have more magnets that you need for to show for your show you can just use a cookie sheet to display your magnets at least so you can't even see it to display your magnets so if I have extra bang I don't know what that is I guess probably dust huh um, but I have Remember, that just fell out because it's not glued in yet, because it's not dry. Um, so for my show, I'll be spray painting this tray to make it look a little cuter. And be using them if I need extra magnet space. Okay, I'll give you a little close-up on the little keychain that we made so cute and this is the other bracelet that we did isn't that pretty like that turquoise it's so pretty I love that all right, guys, I think that is it. What else did I make? Oh, the top socket. This is a 40 millimeter cabochon. So if you wanna make these um, phone holders and you wanna make either the dragon, <laughs> Jesus God. <laughs> and you wanna make <laughs> The dragon eyes or just use your skins with the cabochons you will need a 40 millimeter cabochon 
that's what these fit okay guys so thanks for playing with me I am going to get busy and get some more of these done and uh, I think these are super cute so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give me a thumbs up if you didn't then um, give me a thumbs up anyway and join our Facebook group. I'm in a Facebook group with Tammy Anderson and it's called United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. And there's acrylic pouring, there's resin art, jewelry, there's, there's everything over there. There is everything over there except for drama. Look at that, you guys. I'm going to have to make more of these little holographic paper ones. So pretty. Okay. So, yeah, everything over there except for drama. So if you're looking for a drama-free group, head over there. And uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Peace out.